all right what's going on everybody it's monday today we're going to be talking social video all things video um good to see everybody here youtube and amazon live if you're watching in the chat if you're watching live let me know just type live in the chat want to know who you are what you're up to i'm going to shout y'all out i know some people like shout me out i'll shout you out uh, but let me know that you're watching here live on youtube and amazon live looking forward to um today's interview um because it, it's funny we're gonna be talking about uh video today but we actually connected through an audio app we'll talk about that in a minute um but i want you guys to really really pay attention get out your notebooks because the person i have for you today uh teaches this stuff as well um in her communities uh she is phenomenal i don't follow a lot of people but she is definitely one of the people when i started listening to i started to follow her so make sure that you guys get your notebook out so we can uh get in some work tonight um i see shopping with cheryl is here on youtube i see susan what's going on susan knows the power of video um we've been doing a lot of stuff out there um, with susan so good to see you here live and then all my amazon live folks are here um today's show is sponsored by blueprint influencers you guys if you are interested in getting in these brand deals these collaborations these sponsorships make sure you guys check out uh blueprint influencers it's in beta right now so um there's some people already in there one gentleman he had just got started and uh, he already posted one of his wins working with the microphone company. Just so happens to be one of the microphones I got behind me over here, which is a little lapel microphone that I needed to start testing out this week, hopefully. Um, and then, um, you know, different strategies in there as well. Uh, earlier today, I was in the group just before setting up this and I had an email come back to me, you guys, from a simple strategy. And it was related to video um, and related to YouTube to my things that are just like go together right now and um, the company actually reached out off a very 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 simple strategy um, of just leaving a comment on the video they sent me an email back literally with the screenshot of me in my comment so if you guys want to tap into working with brands and sponsors um, for your live streams your podcasts your events social media postings make sure that you guys check out blueprint influencers at blueprintinfluencers.com all right and just a reminder we are live every monday 7 p.m eastern standard time mark your calendars um, so that you guys don't miss anything. I know sometimes the alerts don't go out, but just make sure you tune in um, every Sunday, every Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and on Amazon Live. So we got some good stuff lined up. Got some awesome guests lined up. I think all the way through um, end of February, end of March, I think I got guests lined up. So you guys are in for a treat. You won't have to listen to me all day, every day. All right, let's go. Let me get ready for my guest tonight because I'm excited to chat it up with her a little bit because I want to know more information myself. So my guest tonight, like I said, we collaborated and connected inside of a clubhouse audio room. OK, and then when she pulled me on stage and Les Brown was talking, I was like, OK, she knows her stuff. Like, how does she know less? I want to know more like that, too. Um, but I got Coach Deb in the building today. What is going on? Coach Deb, how are you today? Aloha, Monty. I'm doing fabulous. She said, it's good to see you. She said aloha. That means you're out on the West Coast, Deb. Is that yeah, cool? I'm originally an East Coast girl, and then I quit my day job actually 20 years ago to move to Hawaii. I was there for about seven years. So aloha stuck because okay. high just seems boring. Okay. 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 <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I made a major lifestyle change, and I did it using the tips that we're going to talk about on your show today. So, yeah, okay, I know okay. how. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> mean, I'm, I got one other buddy that's out there on the West Coast. So it's always cool talking to my West Coast people because most of, most of the people I know and interview, we all seem to be like on the Midwest and East Coast. So kind of uh, working with y'all's time zones is always fun. So you guys get to stay up late, it seems like. We have to go to Yeah, we get early. to sleep in and yeah. be night owls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coach Deb, yeah. thank you for being here. We're going to talk about social selling, the power of video, all that good stuff. But before we get into it, can you introduce yourself to the people? Let them know how awesome you are. Um, and we're going to jump right into it. Sure. Yeah, I'm Coach Deb. I was uh, called Coach Deb ever since I wrote the first book on Twitter predicting celebrities and athletes. And yes, even politicians, don't kill the messenger, by the way, would be using Twitter 
better to get their message out for their business, for their brand. It would be the advertising platform. I thought I was crazy um, and I was everywhere. So when I would go to events that were live, I'm like, oh, I'm Deborah Cole. And they're like, hmm, that, right? And they just knew me at this little picture because I was the girl in Hawaii. And once I said Coach Deb, like, oh, yeah, I follow you. I tweet you and yada, yada, yada. So it was a brand that stuck. And I recently finished media trilogy with the clubhouse guidebook being the third book that essentially predicted the next hot big trend now i feel like you are on the platform that's the next video trend which is amazon live so it's exciting to be here but no i'm not going to write a book on it i'm just going to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome i i am yeah. already a fan because one of the things that i take pride in too what you said is like looking ahead what's coming next mm -hmm. and um I, that's kind of the way mm -hmm. that that i've got into like this showing up online is i remember when live streaming got started and i was jumping into like the obs platform and creating these overlays and all this kind of stuff and people were like well how are you doing that how are you even going live from a computer so i love s talking to someone that's like forward thinking so let's get yes. into this step like give me some backstory give me some history because you you aren't new to like showing up you're not like one of the new school coaches like this hey i just showed up like last year and i know everything like you have been doing this for a little while yeah i i like to tell people i'm older than i look hopefully <laughs> i've been doing this since the days of myspace and in fact my first video that i actually showed my face on my channel for youtube was teaching a grandmother how to use myspace for fun and profit so wow. if that tells you how old i am and how long i've been doing uh, social me media and these days I'm calling it social video because it's not just social media it's not just blogging podcasting and video production it's this blend of social media and video marketing and when you combine them the two it's social video and we'll talk about that on your show as far as what's the what is the size what's the length of video that people are consuming and that they want and it's this new term, essentially social video. So, I, and it's funny, Monty, with the first book that I wrote about social media, it wasn't even called social media, it was just new media. So it was mm. contrast from the traditional TV, newspaper, magazines, if you remember back when magazines were produced, newspapers, right? And all of a sudden there was this new form where now every citizen got a chance to share their message. Every celebrity got to have a voice online instead of hiring these PR companies for 10 grand a month and had a voice for them. And same thing with business, right? Before Twitter, before YouTube, before Amazon Live came out, before all of these other social media apps, we were basically subject to what the news wanted to say about our business. And if we were a small business, they were basically saying, zilch about us mm. so you had to submit press releases and hope that the local news would pick you up but with new media you could create a blog you could create a twitter account you could create a facebook account a linkedin account and have a voice that you control so that's what i get excited about uh, again new media i will often say new media i had a course on it monty and everyone after when social video came out they're like deb are you going to come out with a course on that no, it's just new media, but with lipstick on. So it's <laughs> very social. Um, I get sexist sometimes because, again, girls are very relation, chatty, chatty, chatty. So typically girls are like, oh, I get this whole social uh, video or social media stuff. And guys are like, tell me why this works. And, and the real quick tip about why it works is because it's relational. And if we really think about back in old school days before the Internet even started, we did face uh, business with people face to face and what we like to call belly to belly, right? Mm -hmm. We're, we're facing someone and we really get to know that person, like that person, trust that person. Mm -hmm. And that's who we do business with. Well, now it's social video. It's the same thing. It's just with technology. Yep. And in this day and age where we can't get together necessarily in person, this is just a beautiful way to get clients and get traffic and again, get your message across for your business or brand. So it yeah. gets me excited if you can't tell. <laughs> oh yeah, so it, it, there's nothing like video. Like you said, it, it, that no like and trust happens so fast through video, and yes. beforehand, you know, it's like, hey, 
let's have a meeting at the coffee shop and you got to drive 30 minutes over there. You got to sit down with the person. You got to listen to them. They got to listen to you and then go back your separate ways. And then you realize I just wasted three hours of my life because like, yes. like yeah. I could have figured this yep. out if I could have seen like a video of you doing something. I think about speakers, yeah. you know, with speaker reels. Um, it was funny. I was going through and doing some stuff on my website. <laughs> we were talking about our websites before we went live, y'all. Um, but I was doing something with my website where I went and I found some of the videos where I was just speaking. And I was just like, man, that's like powerful when I actually want to do speaking engagements because like there's social proof that's sitting right there. Um, yep. How did you yep. get into like this social thing? Like what made you get into it? You know, because I know us techies and stuff like that, you know, we're always tinkering with something um, mm -hmm. and kind of falling into something and then navigating our way through it. But how did you get into it? the social, this new yeah. media. I, I like to think of it as, uh, you know, the hair club for men they talk about where uh, I'm not just a, um, I'm not just the president of the hair club, whatever for men, I'm a member. And I think about that with social video because I was such a user and consumer of it myself. And I just became very passionate about it because as we were talking about down on the show and I said, Aloha, that was really where I discovered it because I was on the island of Oahu I left the New York, New Jersey metropolitan area where there were so many people. And while it was a beautiful island to be on, there was a limited number of business owners that I could coach and help with their business. And, and then I felt like there was a point where I met every business owner that I could help and it was exhausted, right? Like, whoa, there's no, there are no more clients here on the island. And then all of a sudden, MySpace and Twitter came out. I would meet people that I could help and I could get my brand message across and more people would know me, not just off the island and on the mainland, but around the world. It's this place that you're in all these time zones. So I was meeting people in Asia, Australia, everywhere. Uh, it did make me some of an uh, insomniac night out because I'd be up till 12 or 1. And just as I was ready to go to sleep, all of a sudden the East Coast would wake up. I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay on. But I really discovered Twitter and social media when I was pretty much isolated. And I feel like now with 2020, people understand what, what it felt like to be isolated. There, were, there weren't uh, live events that I could go to to market my, my brand or my business and get that message across. But with Twitter, every day, every hour, as long as I was going to stay awake and alive on the platform and tweet and help people. And it was literally one tweet at a time, Monty. Like someone would say they needed help with something, whatever it was, with marketing, branding. And I would just reply to them one tweet at a time. And here's what's cool about uh, how your viewers can actually use this with Twitter or anything online. Now you can search and you can literally go to search.twitter.com and put Thing in there like anyone need a or anyone know a and then put it in your industry so be a chiropractor so for instance if it's a chiropractor anyone know a chiropractor in atlanta and all of a sudden if you're a chiropractor and a bunch of people come up boom, you've now met your potential client that you can help and they're telling you what their problems are or i have a, an issue with my business does anyone know a marketer in las vegas or a video production company in Florida. And if you're that person and you've typed that word in search, you wind up finding all of these prospects, all of these clients that you can help where that didn't exist anymore or, or before, right? We had the yellow pages, we had magazines, but it was like throwing spaghetti on the ceiling and see what sticks, right? It's like, I hope I meet my client when I put this ad out in the magazine, or I hope I meet someone that's going to hear me on the radio for that one second blip that they heard me being interviewed. And typically in, in the news, you get three minutes, three minutes to get your message out. Whereas with social video, we can go an hour, we can go all day. And in the case of one of my clients, they went two weeks nonstop, 24 seven, and they streamed their show. And at the end of the day, $8 million launch of products that they sold and software. So when people ask me, how long should I go? I'm like, well, as long as you have the stamina to go and yeah. new people. So again, I got really excited because it was something that I could market and completely free, right? Yeah. Right now, this is not something that you had to pay $30,000 to be on a cable infomercial show. You just had to get accepted, obviously, apply and then start doing it. So that's all your viewers have to do is get started, get going and go live. Yeah, and they'll that's, find that's the thing is, is getting started in, in so many people. 
it, it's funny when people like ask me questions about how, how do you get started and doing it and stuff. I'm like, I don't know. I, I kind of just started scared. You know, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I got pushed into doing it. And so, be, yeah. and so I, I liked what was happening. I, I knew the techie side of things. I knew mm -hmm. how to operate a camera. I knew how to do video and audio boards because I grew up in a church where I was the person behind the scenes. So I knew how to push mm -hmm. it out to the world. I just never was on the other side of that camera, never wanted to be on the other side of that camera. But I, even yeah. back then, I remember being, seeing how powerful it was because people would ultimately, they would come to the church because I saw you on TV. So you mm -hmm. knew that there was something there with video. And then when these yeah. social platforms started letting everyone show up on video, it was like, oh, let me jump on this wave and like get in front. And I, I'll never forget my buddy, he like pushed me out there and I just, started talking about things that I knew. And that's kind of one of the tips that I give to people is like, okay, just start talking about what you know, because it helps you actually do the video. What kind of tips do you have for people that are trying to get into the video or just uncomfortable with doing the video? Cause by now y'all should know how important video is, but what tips do you have for getting people that little push to get out there and just start doing it? I love this question, Monty. And I'm going to give a shout out to shopping with Cheryl. Like, I remember Coach Depp from way back. So <laughs> <laughs> hello, it's good to see you here. And if if she's been following me from many, many, many years, she knows the tip that I'm about to share. And I love what you said. I started scared. Love that, Monty. Because you kind of have to do it. And by the way, I had a TV show where I was, on, I was live every day for an hour, and I still got nervous. And I still get nervous. To this day, even before your show today, I was like, oh, I got jitters, right? Because it's an adrenaline, um, I don't want to say rush, but it's the adre natural adrenaline in our bodies that prepares us to show up and perform at our best, to share our best. And when you're awake and when adrenaline is there, so that sometimes you describe it as like nerves or angst, it's really just the adrenaline in our body. So embracing that. And then, so you, you start scared. And then once you start, honestly, it just starts flowing. It's the first 30 seconds that are really the hardest before you hit record and after you hit record. But then after that, this is the biggest tip and it's what we are doing right now. You and I are just having a conversation and we just happen to have our cameras on and letting the world eavesdrop on our conversation about social video. Yeah. So if you think about it like that, you don't get nervous when you have a conversation with your mom, with your sister, your brother, your friend, your BFF at the coffee shop. So if you can just think about that and you just happen to have a lens in front of you, just think of it as a conversation, not a performance or not a lecture, because that just puts people to sleep, yeah. right? But a conversation, <laughs> right, is what we've seen Larry King and Oprah do for decades all they do is they sit down and either across the desk with larry king or on the couch with oprah they just had conversations with their guest mm -hmm. they weren't lecturing and and, and being mm, like teachy or preachy so think about a conversation you will relax your nerves the other thing is what's great about a conversation if you have it in person you don't have to look at the lens you right. can just look at your guest right and then you forget that you're being filmed so um, the other big thing too, Monty, that I love right now is that cell phones are a huge medium of how video production is being done. And what I love about that is you would get the big camera. And I was a little different from you. I was I switched from being in front of the camera to being behind it. And I like that much better. It's a lot <laughs> less uh, angst, right? But what I realized is when we would have the crew with the big camera, people would just all of a sudden get really stiff mm -hmm. with the big but with the cell phone and with clients, what I would do when they would get nervous like that, <clears throat> they wouldn't get as nervous because it wasn't this big production effort. And I'm like, well, just tell me what you think about blah, blah, blah. Right. Or you're a realtor. Just tell me uh, what's going on with real estate development in this town. And they didn't know it, but I already hit the record button. So they were being recorded and they didn't realize it because they were just what? Having a conversation with me. And then after I'm like, oh, look, you did great. They're like, what? I I'm ready to go. I'm like, no, you did it already. And that just blew their mind that their video was already done. And it transformed the way they did video production ever since. And that that one session with one of the clients that just got so nervous until I did that, that's been my way of producing video. So I encourage people to do the same thing. Even if it's just literally you have a friend that says, hey, can you just hold the camera here? 
and then have a, a conversation to that person instead of just talking to the camera, you'll come across more natural, you'll come across as more genuine. And the people that will watch you, like Monty, you were saying from church, they're like, oh, I saw you on TV. They get to know you, like you, trust you. And the beautiful thing about social videos, you become this expert and celebrity. You get celebrity status. You get Larry King status, the Oprah Winfrey status, because they see you on the big screen and they go, oh, that person knows their stuff. I want to work with them. So the realtor that I work with here in San Diego, he said, I couldn't believe when they saw me on video and they hit me up and they're like, wow, you really know your stuff. I've been watching you for a month. And they set up a meeting with them. And he's like, I got the client instantly without even having to meet with them because yeah. they had been watching him all along. So you never know when you start. And Monty, you and I were talking about this before we went live. It's like, you never know if there's going to be two people or 22 people or 200 people. But you just have that conversation. You never know who's watching you, thinking about hiring you. Uh, so don't don't worry if it's two or 12. Don't w look at the numbers. Just think about having one conversation with one person. And the beautiful thing of it is now after the recording is done, your coffee conversation is done and over with. This conversation lasts in infinity. So yeah. it's the other reason Man, I like it. You're dropping so many nuggets over there, Deb. Like, I want to show you something real quick. I used to do this angle i would have meetings with people and i would have a side camera that would just record the meeting and i would literally forget that i was on camera because you're not even focused on the camera and i would just have this conversation and i would go back and look at i was like man i gave some good information some good value there and i could repurpose that for later content down the road and and that's one of the ways i just got started is just like let me put the camera off to the side earlier you, you guys logged in earlier you saw the behind the scenes camera you know all these different little ways where you could still get your footage and when you said that you would hit the record button and the client wouldn't know i have to do that when i do live stream events for clients because yeah. they will not give me these testimonials but they're so energized. You know how you leave a meeting and everything and they're just, oh my God, it was so awesome. It was amazing. All right, let me get a, let me get a testimonial for you. Uh, 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 and I'm just like, you know yeah. what? I'm not going to stop <laughs> recording. Let me just put yeah. this microphone on here. And I'm like, how'd you mm -hmm. like it? And they, the camera will be sitting off to the side and they have no idea that yep. they're talking and giving them that testimony. Cause it's like, yeah. I want that real testimony. Cause you're, 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 when you start thinking about it, that testimonial isn't really that that wasn't your true feeling. Your true feeling was how you had all that excitement behind it. So I love that yes. you said that. Deb. Um, yes, that is brilliant, Monty. Yes, and yeah. and you're right. it's like, man, I just got this great thing. And then this is the other thing we see, right is, I'm like, oh, that was great. Even if it's you know their video talking about their industry, I'm like, just we hit record, and they're like, uh, I can't repeat it. Yep. Whereas if you have any type of acting training, that's what it's all about. You repeat. You, you know, you have a rehearsal and then you repeat and people are like, oh, that's not going to come across as genuine when they're like, no, it does. But so that's another tip for your viewers is it's OK if you repeat it and you practice it beforehand and then hit record, even if it's just you repeating that natural conversation. That's yeah. what actors do everywhere. I, so I, just I'm get glad. used to it and bring your star out. I'm yeah. going to have you remind me. I, I, I'm going to come back to that, Deb, because I have a question on that. I have a personal question. Now, if y'all have questions okay. in the comments, make sure you let y'all. Uh, go ahead and put those in. Let me shout y'all out real quick because I said I was going to shout y'all out. Um, shopping with Cheryl, I've been seeing you here. Amstrong Tech, good to see you here. I answered your question in the chat. Uh, so Kieran, good to see you here. And Trucking Transactions, good to see you here. And what's crazy is, Dev, I'll make this point real quick. Like, it don't, when you said don't listen to the numbers, look at the numbers, like you truly can't mm -hmm. look at the numbers, y'all. Just like get on video and just talk because I had no idea who's, who's going to show up. And like when I look at Amazon, there's over a hundred people watching me on Amazon, like a hundred people. I remember when no one showed up, like yeah, consistently no one showed up. Like yeah. and then you would get like the one person that's like, Monty, you're amazing. And it's just the one person. And then you're like, am I really that good if only one person shows up? But then it just grows and grows and grows and grows. And like you said, like if you're in business and you're using video, I can't tell you how much business I've generated from showing up on camera. It's mm -hmm. it's just like showing people what I do. Like I could talk about the tech mm -hmm. stuff all day, but when I turn on the camera, it's like, 
boom, there it is. And Deb, I remember you joined in one of my Amazon lives and you saw, I was just kind of like, I was just kind of doing me. Like it mm -hmm. wasn't rehearsed. It was like, we're just going to have fun and be on video. Yeah. And it was just so like interactive and fun um, doing live streams that way. You kind of find your groove, right? You don't have to be like everybody else. I'm over here rambling, but I got a question. I got to come back. Y'all ask y'all ask your questions over there. A Amazon Live. See, this is me going off script and just having fun. Amazon Live, I'm going to come back and shout all y'all out for following. You said something, Deb, that it took me, it took me a while to mm. get over when you said repeating. Mm. Actors learn how to repeat it over and over. And when yeah. I started live streaming, Deb, I would I would teach on a subject and then I would teach on the next subject and I would teach on the next subject and I would keep going progressively on. And what was happening was if you didn't come in in the sequence or you came in mm -hmm. late in the sequence, you had no context of what I was talking about like two months from now because I wouldn't I would never repeat myself going back because I felt like I had already said it. So why mm. am I saying this again? But when you said like you you need to repeat it, I was like, man, I finally got that from one of my business coaches. Like he said, you got to tell your story, like just say mm -hmm. it again. And so what I found myself now even doing these live shows, I'll say the fact that, yeah, when I got started on YouTube, this is what I did. Yeah. When I got started on YouTube, this is what I did. When I got started on YouTube, this is what I did. And I keep just telling the story and I've gotten yeah. better and better and better at doing that. And when you said that, I was just like, man, everybody's just confirming it. Cause that's, that was one of my hiccups is like, I don't want to keep mm -hmm. saying the same thing over. Cause that's boring to an audience. But in reality, that has been like very, very, very helpful. So I appreciate you for saying that. I did, thought I had a question yeah. behind it, but it, you just, you just gave me something that I'm going to take away from this show. Uh, myself. I, I love that. It. I love and, and Monty, just to capitalize on, on what you just said, too, is sometimes it's repeating it and then going live or, or hitting the record button if it's a pre-recorded. The other times, what you were just detailing there, I learned that from the news in the morning. I, I never really watched the news, but like, okay, if I'm going to get into the TV business, I better start doing some research. I'm like, wow, these morning news shows, they literally repeat themselves over and over it's like the first seven minutes and the second seven minutes and the third i was like whoa and they'll also tease what they don't talk about until literally the last two minutes of the show but it keeps you watching and what i learned is that people don't typically watch the full 30 minute news they just tune in whenever or like the the morning shows like good morning america or whatever like the ladies watch they're getting the kids ready for school and they're not necessarily paying attention the whole time. So they're just going to catch whatever they can. So that's why they repeat it throughout a new segment, even a 30 minute news segment, because they know people are not typically watching from beginning to end. So that's another tip for people to not feel bad. I uh, saw so over here tracking transaction on uh, YouTube. They're like, thanks for this momentum, right? Like hearing you talk about the fact that only two people put up sometimes or no one shows up. You have to just do it anyway and not look at the numbers yeah. because eventually the YouTube search, Amazon Live will put you in where more people will see it. In the beginning, you just have to do the work and yeah. put it in. Yeah. yeah, because I would I would feel like I was running out of content and, and yeah. I was like, man, like, what do I talk about now? I only can talk about <laughs> this camera's five different ways, but it's like, no, go ahead and repeat yourself. And like you said, people come in at different times of your live stream. Um, so anybody that came in late, make sure you hit the like button on YouTube and hit the subscribe, follow button on Amazon. But when people come in at different times of your broadcast, it's so important mm -hmm. to like keep that interaction. So you go back and you, you know, let them know, hey, this is what we just talked about. Or you repeat your steps again. Hey, we're on step three. Yeah. But in step one, we yeah. did this. Step two, we did this. And it really keeps the engagement going on your live stream. And, you know, it comes with practice just like anything. Right. And I think that was one right. of my things um, that I had to learn and practice. And I, I'm encouraging you guys to, you know, get out there. You're not going to be perfect when you get on Amazon live or YouTube or mm -hmm. Facebook. Um, uh, things will happen in the background. Like I'm, I'm a new dad, um, coach Deb. And so oh, congratulations. Thank you. So, <laughs> so baby, she in there crying right now. She is, is bath time. My wife got her. She's in there crying right now. And sometimes my wife will, she be like, can I come in the office? I was like, just come in. Like I have gotten mm -hmm. so comfortable, but like embracing everything that even happens on live video, not even just re-recorded yeah. video. Like, 
Yeah. I, I, I tell people like, this is, this is what really happened. So like, if the baby just comes walking in, like, all right, we'll just have to pick her up and just like, that's this right. is what it is. That's right. You, you guys came here for the content and the information and you came here for Monty. So this was kind of like what the whole package of it is it, versus like, oh my gosh, I got to turn mm -hmm. off the camera or I got to go, I got to stop or I'm having a microphone issue. I don't want to do this no more. Like we find these reasons not to do video. If y'all find reasons not to do video, mm -hmm. let me know. I got to. I, I want to do a video with, um, it's me eating Chipotle that are you Chipotle person? I, uh, sometimes. sometimes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm on a, a fitness team here, uh, but okay. I feel like you can get a lot of healthy things. Yeah. Let me, but not, yes. let me not disrupt you from your fitness thing, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Chipotle <laughs> person. Right. And I, Chipotle will literally be one of the reasons I don't do a YouTube video. Right. That, huh. That's like one of my distractions. I was like, okay, huh, I'm gonna eat. You know what? This video can wait till later. But I'm like, no, I got to get rid of these distractions to do these videos. So um, I need y'all to remove distractions so we can get these yeah. videos done I, this year. I love how you're like, it's about reasons. You were one of the guests on our course, right, for the students. And you were like, reasons, right? Mm -hmm. Not excuses. I know you're going to find your reasons. I'm like, oh, that's good. Yeah. Because, again, people think they're justifiable reasons, including me. Right. We all are guilty of that. Um, and I love what shopping with Cheryl just dropped in the comments here. The imp imperfections make you human. Yes. And by the way, Monty, when you bring your baby in, guess what? more people will watch than anything. Babies, yep. babies and puppies. So yep. either one. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I think we think, oh, my gosh, that's a distraction. That's not part of the show. And ever since 2020, when we had celebrities and actors and talk show hosts, professional talk show hosts right jimmy fallon he was oh, one of my yeah. favorites that i would watch these kids were like falling all over him in this attic it made him more personable and it was very entertaining to watch i probably watched more jimmy fallon on youtube after 2020 happened right when the lockdowns mm -hmm. and actors weren't streaming from the pro hollywood sets than i ever watched his night show. like I, I don't watch his night show right now right. but i'll catch youtube yeah. so yeah be, yeah. be human and let the babies in. Yeah. Borrow a baby if you want to go viral. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, I got I got a baby story to tell you real quick too. Uh, thank you for the super chat and tech strong. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, I was doing an Amazon live dev and um, well, I didn't intend on doing an Amazon live. What happened was we started getting um, all the, uh, the baby registry stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to unbox this on Amazon live. Um, because I oh, just need the it. content. So I'm sitting there yeah. and I'm like trying to figure out stuff. And I like, I know this going into it. Like, I know I'm not going to put this stuff together, right? Like on yeah. live camera, it, like, I don't know what I'm doing, but the video did really, really <laughs> well. Amazon reached out to me because they saw the video and they were like, Hey, can you send us a picture uh, with you and the baby so we can do some marketing with it? And I was just oh. like, hold on, wait a minute. Catch it. Y'all yeah. like, catch this. Mm -hmm. I had not put baby stuff together before. I'm doing this live in front of people, knowing I'm going to mess up, knowing people are going to tell me, you're not supposed <laughs> to do it that way. And then Amazon says, hey, we like your video. Can you send us? A I'm not going with there with y'all. I'm not going there with y'all. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Appreciate y'all mm -hmm. following me over here on Amazon Live, by the way. Bonnie, Valerie, that Angel. Uh, I see Teresa's over here. Ali, Denny, like all of y'all over here. I see all of y'all. Rome is over here. My dude, Rome, can't wait to have him on the show. Carol's over here as well. I want you guys to put some questions because we're getting to some Q&A here. Get some, what questions do you have around video? Like Coach Deb helps. What do you do? Like, what do you do to help these people with video so that we can get them to make sure that they walk away from here with some of these questions answered so they don't have any more reasons to not yeah. get started with video. Yeah, and, and um, what I like, we're definitely going to answer the one of the questions that came up from Translation Actions about what software you're streaming with, because we're going to go over favorite tech um, on your show today, Monty. Yes. So there, there's a little plug and seed to keep on watching. Yes. Um, yeah, so, so a few things that I do, and before, I would say before 2020, a lot of it was on the form of private coaching or private production for people, either to get them on TV, cable, TV shows, or TV as in YouTube or live streaming. And then after 2020, when 
there were so many people who needed to know as a business owner, how do I get my message across, created a course to walk people through it. And again, for a much more affordable way that they could hire me um, in person. So I've kind of made this interesting transition. And it's interesting that you talked about you did the reverse where you were always behind the scenes in church. And then all of a sudden you got in front of the camera. So I'd encourage each one of you, if you're a little nervous to be on camera, believe it or not, my first video didn't even have my face in it. It wasn't until my fifth video on YouTube. And it was, again, me just coaching grandmother on how to use social media for her business but even for me my face wasn't on it and yet I would get clients because I was essentially the filmmaker behind the camera and then I realized in order to meet people I had to be in front of the camera and then I did a switch you know 10 years later I started becoming a producer for people who needed a, a live show so I was back behind the camera again so it's been an interesting <laughs> journey yeah uh, and I have to say I like being behind the camera more so than in front of the camera. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. for sure. Like I, I mm. yeah, I, I got to turn all my juices. I got to get my vitamin water. Vitamin water needs to pay me because yes. like, it's my energizer. I <laughs> had did, yeah, I, I did a video on like ways to kind of motivate yourself, like listen to some, you know, favorite music mm. before you go live. If you have something that gets your energy up, you know, uh, f any you know fruits vegetables whatever get your energy going you know uh, watching something funny just to, like kind of get you going because like getting it getting in front of the camera like like i wouldn't sign up if there wasn't a benefit to get in front of the camera like i, I was telling um yeah Deb before we yeah. went live like i live streamed for a while but like i do want some type of return on me showing up and go, getting yeah. on video, right? So, yeah. um, and so the return has been pretty cool because you had the chance to work with brands and sponsors. And then I also get to do what I really like, which is teach people. But I still yeah. like get in front of the video to teach people right. Um, right. You know, all this cool techie stuff. So um, let's jump into and, some, and oh, go ahead, Deb. Monty, don't you find that once you start, it's so easy to keep going, but it's the oh, yeah. getting started that's the hardest part. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Right? Because like like we said later like doing an interview like if you guys need content ideas like let us know because we got content ideas for de days like y'all don't know <laughs> in the back of my mind like like what what deb is doing is helping me doing a live stream like there's so, like when deb is calling out the comments like i see them but when she does it it's like she's doing something that helps me alleviate all this other techie stuff that's going on like y'all just don't know what she's doing right now unless you live stream um but yeah <laughs> that's why i fall into producer role yeah. all the time <laughs> it's, it's yeah and and sometimes people get overwhelmed right because they're like you got to do mm -hmm. this you got to do this you got to do this but there is a you know there's a there's a way you can do it where it's not overwhelming right like yes, yes. And, and that's why i try to sh show people and tell people like you don't need like this elaborate setup because the more you bring into it matter of fact that is my next youtube video if y'all don't know my two youtube videos for now the more you mm -hmm. add to your live stream or your video the more mm. reasons you're going to find to not do it. I got to turn this on. Yes. I got to do this. Oh my gosh. I yeah. got to look at chat on YouTube and Facebook and Amazon. I, I, I got to do my Twitter. I got to repurpose content. Like you will find a reason to stop doing it because you didn't overwhelm yourself. So yes. don't yes. jump out there. Think you got to do everything. Like you said, Deb, you started on Twitter. <laughs> just mm -hmm. like, let me do this yeah. one platform here. Um, yeah. One sentence. One, and it used to be just 140 characters. It's funny to me when I hear millennials, I was talking to my buddy, Kate, but, Junior and she's just like they're all complaining about like 240 or whatever. Now we're like 140 characters. So don't tell me about shortening your content. But that's the beautiful part. Like start on Twitter if you want to get your message out. It's like one sentence at a time. Talk about very very little commitment. You could tweet once a day and then do a little short, a real. By the way, vertical video is huge right now yes. with. Um, with social video and yeah. and the the filmmaker right and anyone in TV <laughs> production they're like oh my gosh not cinema style vertical but that is so popular and it's the the trend yeah. it's the trend so give people what they want give the platforms what they want yeah. so I reels TikToks and even YouTube for uh, YouTube they want Amazon oh sorry Amazon uh, YouTube Shorts sure. hashtag yeah. Shorts and it's these one minute videos because it was working on reels and on TikTok. So yep. every platform will give the people what they want. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, 
bingeable content too. So if you're oh, yeah. doing some pre-recorded content that you're teaching, a lot of people, you remember back in the day where it was like, we have to do 10 minute, 14 minute, 15 minute shows on YouTube. More and more the studies are showing people like three minutes and 33 seconds, but you still want the watch time, right? If you're a YouTube uh, um, channel creator, right? You want the watch time, you want the referred. So you do a 30 minutes worth of video, but you do it three minutes 33 seconds at a time, you essentially become a Netflix season that people binge on. So they love the three minutes and 33 seconds. They're like, oh, that's great. Watch this one for the next part. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna click on that. Seed them, right? Seed them with the next show. And then you'll become a recommended, uh, cert like you'll come up in recommended search because you will be recommending your own videos. And that actually puts you in higher with youtube placement so there's a little bit of a hack that i had Ooh, to share you gave me a little yeah, yeah. i got something i'm gonna yeah. play with off based off of that you and you then right from the night well, you think about that monty right like you're like don't try to overwhelm yourself try to come up with these long videos that you have to edit and all that just yeah. think three minutes yeah. that's it like mm. anyone could do a three minute video yeah well, those in videos. fact i challenge you to keep it a short 30 minutes three minutes because you're like oh i want to say more <laughs> yeah because like you yeah. know hey th these are five ways to do something such and such and such like okay well you gotta do all five of those like like break that up into five different videos because you don't want to create yeah. a video anyway so just make it five videos that are three minutes and 33 minutes long now you have five yeah. videos versus one bit all right deb is preaching over here let's get to some questions i, <laughs> I love yeah i love having people on that like talk the same language um <laughs> tracking transaction says what software are you streaming with i like this setup um i am streaming with wirecast which is overkill for most people it is a more of a production software where i get to play with a lot more widgets and gadgets um but i have used a lot of them um those have been watching me for a while i've been using melon i use restream I've used OBS, I've used VMix, so I use a whole bunch of them. They all have their their bells and whistles. Some are easier to use, some are a little bit more complex that require a learning curve, uh, but I use a whole lot. Deb, what do you use when it comes to live streaming? For me, um, it's funny because a couple of things new that just came out, and as you were talking about Ellen, I have to check that out, um, but I've been using uh, what StreamYard. StreamYard has been my favorite because, again, I have a lot of grandmothers that are clients, mm -hmm. right? They're, they have a side hustle. They're starting a new business. And it's funny because it's like, you know, they're 50 years old, they're grandmas, but they didn't grow up with tech like this generation did. So they want it fast, easy, fun. So I found StreamYard has been my favorite because they can use it and get set up within three minutes or less. It's just super easy and it makes you look like a pro. Um, I love this, by the way, and my question for you as you were streaming, and I love that you were showing some of the BTS, if you could show people, because I love it, it brings up production, your camera that's showing the zoom, right, it's going very slowly, we would see this with the TV production with a person, but you've got it on a nice little dolly, so I, yeah, I love that angle. I love it, love it, love it. There's something about it that just draws us in, so maybe if you want to talk about the tech that's set up for people to, yeah, it's to do this, that. I don't know if, I, yeah, that camera's not facing it. This is one of my new toys. This is my investment toy because I wanted to add, I've been calling it added distraction. I know you probably got a better word, but I wanted to add another element to the video that kind of brought people in, kind of keeps them in. So like, how can I bring motion into it? Because we're used to seeing motion. So this is actually an iFootage slider. Um, it's called a Shark Slider Nano. And it's, man, I don't have my other angle that's set up to see it. Well, I kind of, kind of over here. Let me go full screen. You guys probably be able to see it a little bit in the background. So it's actually just sitting right here. Typically I have it on the other side of the room over here, but it's just going back and forth real slow. I can program the speed of it. Um, it's nice and small, so you can travel with it, which is also pretty cool. But yeah, this is a Shark, shark Slider Nano, um, and it's just on on my uh slider and i think i'm going to use it a lot more because of mm -hmm. like per, like when you see the b-roll footage on youtube videos you're just like man that nice smooth pan shot and i try to do it mm -hmm. all with my hand and i'm like nah let me let me go ahead yeah. and step it up one more level for myself like yeah. just a personal step up more yes so. i love it and it and i like again i was looking at that because i've been looking at different um 
like the tech that's doing it so that I, when you had it on earlier, I was like, Oh, I hope I can focus <laughs> on your questions because that's what I was admiring. <laughs> that's awesome. It's awesome. It, yeah. It, and that's one of those things too, Deb, like, that's that's one of the things that I used to do a lot in video was like, okay, I know mm -hmm. I don't want to get on video, but what can I do to draw people in? And I would purposely put things behind me that I knew people could relate to. So when I would when I had, yeah, I think I was in an apartment at that time. I would have like microphones behind me. I'd have some books behind me and just different things people could relate to. So if they stopped, I had a poster thing behind me and that's what I still got to do on this wall here. I just haven't had time to, but like they would see these sayings and they were like, oh, I'll stop because of that. Because mm -hmm. I didn't feel like me alone was going to stop them. But if they saw something mm. in their feed, I was like, oh, that'll stop them. And then I'll let my content content keep them in the video yeah so, yeah you know there's a lot of mental stuff that goes into this you know that you try to think about like especially those of us that are like introverted by nature like you just you ain't trying to put yourself out there so these were mm -hmm. like ways for me to not think about the fact that i'm putting myself out there um yeah yeah another question too about tech monty the lighting behind your bookshelf i it if you could maybe talk a little bit about that because that just brings up a pop and people can do it at such an affordable rate that they have no idea so maybe tell them that trick because it's beautiful yeah that is a little i think that's my govi light and i know you use govi as well over there um Me too. but Me yeah too. if you guys them. check out govi it's just a remote and all i do is just change the colors my remote is like way over there um, I have I have like way too many remotes. It's it's unreal how many remotes are sitting on this desk. Um, but yeah, I just trying to change the color up. I kind of went a little bit. I was trying to find a color for my guests and like what their brand is. So I know you had like blue and yellow in your color scheme on your website. Um, so if you right. guys have not checked out Deb's website, make sure you go over there so you can check it out. I told her her whole bio is cool, so y'all got to read the bio. Um, <laughs> but you. yeah, so I just changed the color, kind of like the mood. Um, I love my purples. I love my blues. And then sometimes oh, you I did the yellow because you were interviewing me. Yes. Oh wow, that's awesome. That's very that is such a clever way to be this awesome host. Because I'm like, wow, that's a different color than you normally have. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right that was on. The yeah. closest thing I could get to my yellow. So um, yeah, yeah, right that's on. Just for you, Deb. See, I think about wow. my guests before they show up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Let's... and and it's interesting because again, yellow is a, a newer thing because clubhouse became all the craze yeah. and by the way we just just to talk about that briefly because that's how Monty and i met and again that is all just another social media channel that you connect on but the reason why we connected is anytime i would commute it's like 30 minutes i don't want to just listen to the radio and it's like to me my brain is just blah, mush after just boring music but if i can listen to things that stimulate me or i learn something and i went on clubhouse right before i'm pulling out of the drive and I saw Monty Weavy t Weaver talking about Clubhouse or, or sorry, um, Amazon Live. And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what is this platform? Right. And I and we connected. I asked him a bunch of questions. He shared freely. So that's another way for you to find clients is share freely from the tips and the knowledge base that you have because that's how you'll connect. And, and Monty became my BFF forever. I was like, oh my gosh, he taught me something new. I love it. And it was easy for me to participate. So those of you who are like, oh, I'm not ready for video, start on Clubhouse, it's audio only. Start with podcasting, it's audio only. Then kick it up a notch. If that's anything a theme of what you're seeing with Monty Studio, he'll just keep with the production value. And I guarantee you a year from now, he and I will both have different studio sets. We'll keep upping it a notch. But in the beginning, I started as basic as possible. And that's what you want to do. Just start, record, have a blank wall in front, back behind you, just hit record. Or take your video or camera, sorry, phone slash camera. I call this a camera. Some people call it a phone. I don't know why, but it's a camera <laughs> from me. Take your camera, phone, and go out in nature because more people watch my videos when I'm at the beach or hiking or showing them some type of view than ever when I'm in, in studio. Like who cares when people are inside? Take them on the on the run with you. I, we have a, a lady, Fun Ivy, uh, she's over in Malaysia and she rock climbs and she brings us through these hikes. I'm like, every time we're different restaurants, I'm like, oh, I get to go to another world without ever getting on a plane. I'll watch her lives every time when she's out in nature. So that's an encouragement to do video without 
even worrying about the production value. But if you've been doing the video for a while, if you do have a channel on YouTube, look at the things that Monty's doing and then go, oh, I could do that. I could add lighting. I could do this and just do one thing at a time. If you say over the next year, I'm going to do one thing every month. By the end of the year, you have 12 added production value um, assets and people go, oh, and you'll get the compliments, but don't try to do it all at once. Don't try to do the overwhelm. Yeah. That's my little coaching soapbox there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one bite you, at a time. Yeah. When you said like the traveling thing, like I used to, I, I would go, um, cause I'm not about an hour south of DC, Washington, DC. And I remember like just going on Periscope one time and just, cause I would had to walk the city. So I was like, I'll just go on Periscope and show people. And like, sometimes we forget like other people haven't been to your city. And so you have all these people that yeah. showed up on the video, you know, cause they wanted to see the white house. They wanted to see the national monuments and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, it was just something yeah. different. And so if you guys are, you know, trying to find content, like look for things Deb said early on, like, you know, be innovatively like one of the first think ahead, you know, and start creating videos around these things that are the first. Um, and that'll help mm -hmm. you get some traction as well. Um, yeah, Deb, I know we're going to run over on time. How are you on time? This oh, time? I'm fine. Okay, cool. we can go. We can go all day, all, all right. night. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> yes, um, no problem. So um, it was funny because I, I get the question a lot. We kind of talked about it. Um, when you try to go live for like an hour, so I'm like, how long should you go live? Are you like 15 minutes is hard. If you ever mm -hmm. do an interview with someone you can just talk to, Oh, you can go past an hour, like in no time, like it, yeah. an hour fly past. So this is yes. kind of what it is for me. Doesn't um, it seem overwhelming at first? You're like, oh, what are we going to talk about for an hour? And then all of a sudden it's 52 minutes in. I'm like, oh, we could talk yeah. the next hour it, it's easily. Especially if you have yeah. someone that like talks your language, you can relate to, you kind of yes. have an idea of what they do. Like I didn't have to like study you before I said, hey, Deb, you want to come over here? Like I kind of had some type of rapport where I was in part of your group. We had talked in clubhouse house rooms together and it makes right. it easier to because have we well, we did the zoom in the room but that was the only time we've done video together so yeah. you know it, yeah. it makes it easy when you do have some type of rapport um and then right. have a conversation that you can talk to like i'll yeah. say y'all watching now like I, some of the questions i asked for myself like i, I kind of want to know little histories like it's not just for the viewer but yeah. ultimately the show is for the viewer like because y'all like, yep. are gonna get me because i'm slow on getting to these questions tonight but like i am like thoroughly engaged in like what deb has to say because the three minutes and 33 second thing i was like mm, that kind of confirms something i was thinking about but to, yeah. to have someone that already speaks my language like i'm i'm sitting here like take my own notes all right let me get over here yeah. to these questions deb um yeah. I appreciate y'all being here. Hit the follow button. Hit the subscribe button over here. I see Rome here, Tony here, uh, Randall here. I always see Randall popping in here. Good to see you, sir. All right. Um, so when you go live on Amazon, do you get more viewers than on YouTube? It kind of depends, but tonight, yes. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So tonight is significantly uh, more on Amazon. Um, but last week, we actually had more on YouTube. So... Uh, it it kind of depends. And then I am super consistent um, on the times on YouTube, but YouTube live, just the way it works. It like, I just don't think it sends out the notifications that well. And because I have a higher status rank on Amazon, my videos get pushed. So sometimes I'm on the front page of Amazon, which is pretty cool. They ever had somebody email me. They were like, hey, I see you on the front page. I'm like, yep, that was me. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so it's cool. exciting. Yeah, it kind of depends on the platform. Um, I, I see you on it all the time. So yeah, that's it's working you're doing is working Monty. I, what yes. the other reason I love Amazon live is because it is a new platform. So I think of Amazon live right now, like YouTube back in 2006 when it first kicked off. So if you can get on a new platform and dominate, you're getting all of this traffic that the platform is feeding you versus YouTube. You're kind of getting the traffic that you feed yourself, yep. right? Like you have to do the promotion on YouTube at this yep. point. Back in 2006, you didn't have to just like right now in 2002, Amazon live is feeding you traffic because it's new. There's yep. far less competition than there, there ever will be on YouTube at this point at this moment yeah, yeah. so you guys pay attention to the new, to the new apps yeah pay attention to these new apps these new platforms that are coming out jump on it and like yeah. just run with it um yeah. tender heart good to see you ramonica good to see you over there she's doing some amazing stuff over there um i think i got all my questions on youtube i hope um i think i got them all over there if i didn't y'all give me a super chat then i'll make sure i get it 
shameless plug, shameless plug, I know. Um, all right, let me scroll back up here because I got a whole bunch of stuff that came through on Amazon. Appreciate y'all in the Amazon chat for uh, uh, taking out spammers. Yeah, Amazon for the win. Yeah, Amazon like, for the you, win. You got to deal with that <laughs> stuff too over there on Amazon and, and all the platforms. So, like, you, when you get on video, expect negative mm -hmm. comments to come. Like, they going to come. Like, it's, it's going to come. Trust me. <laughs> that you will get way more positives than the negative. Like, there's this way mm -hmm. more benefits than like just being scared to not do it or you got to deal with the code on Kate haters or whatever like i'll get them here and there well there's tremendous benefits on being on um video in these social platforms um, you think about it there. like where people have to deal with trolls and haters it's like there's just sad people out there and that's all it is it's about them you know and it's interesting a, a realtor friend client of mine had a video and someone just said something like it was a weird criticism and he responded back in kind, like just being kind to him. He's like, oh, I'm sorry that you thought da 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 da. And because he actually responded to him and acknowledged that the guy came back and kind of apologized. And I kid you not, Monty, he's one of his biggest fans right now. Wow. He comments on almost every one of his videos. He's always like checking things out. He's his biggest fan. So sometimes it's just people are grumpy or they're not having a good day and they just lash out behind their keyboard. We call them keyboard warriors but you'd be surprised at how, some of them you can turn around some are just again they're unhappy trolls and you just block them, yes. right but um it, it i've told people and actually it was in my twitter book because maury smith had gotten a hater and i was like yes that means you've arrived yes, yes, so exactly celebrate that means. <laughs> yeah you've arrived yeah yeah so it's okay yeah welcome good see, yeah good to see you megan in the chat tony said i'm scrolling back up on my amazon live feed Tony said, I blame you for my purchases of, of lately, <laughs> ATM Mini Extreme. I am overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> Deb blames me for some purchases too. She oh, I was about to say, I think that all the Govi purchases, there's a couple things behind me. The Oral Light, I blame you for. There's a lot of things behind me that I blame you for, Monty. Yeah. And I love yeah. every one of them. Yeah. yeah you, you like sent me a message like, hey, I need all of that. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was too funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. Rome says, as a photographer, I like to be behind the camera, but if you want followers, you need to be in front of the lens. And yeah, mm -hmm. and like I started documenting myself, like, I, you know, when I start doing client work in the field, and that's how I get people to reach out. Like, I was doing these installs for churches, and people reach out, hey, I got a question about my church install. I'm like, why all of a sudden you reach it out? I'm like, oh, okay, because I did a video, and you saw the video. Mm -hmm. So obviously, that what is crazy? I got to look at this yeah. camera for this. Yeah. People that are complete strangers to you, you that you mm -hmm. they have no idea who you are. They can watch one video of yours and all mm -hmm. of a sudden they trust you with their money. I had never yeah. seen that before, like on Facebook, like because I, I always tell my Facebook audience, I say y'all are cheap because I, I didn't say the same stuff here. But y'all won't sign up for anything. Y'all won't buy anything, whatever. <laughs> when I on YouTube, I would have complete strangers mm -hmm. send me an email or they would go and they would sign up, they would buy a course, they would buy a class. And I'm like, mm -hmm. hold on. So you took 20 minutes of what I said and you trusted it enough to, to do a mm -hmm. transaction. I was like, that yeah. is amazing. I said, all I gotta do is put more inf good information here. Like, let me keep giving the, the same information I was giving over here, over here, because I had already validated that my information was good. Like I had got past, mm -hmm. am I good enough, you know? Mm. I just had, I just wasn't putting my information on the right platform. And when I figured that out, I was like, oh, I can still talk about all it. I can sit here and talk about this light tube or like this monitor, mm. like all this stuff all day, every day. And people actually like respect my opinion on it. And I was mm. like, and it's because I did video and I was like, man, this is when I started documenting the setups, you could see. I had to know what I was doing. I was doing it on video. Like I had to prove the fact like, hey, there's nothing here. And now there's something here and it actually works. Do you, yeah. and I didn't even have to say, Dev, do you believe me that I can do it? Like you automatically believe that I could do it because you saw me actually do it. And now I'm right. preaching over here, Dev. Dev. Yeah, amen. Yeah, it's absolutely true though. And that's the whole point, right, Monty? It's, it's that simulating the one-on-one -on -one back and forth conversation live in person but you do it to hundreds or dozens or thousands, 
right? That's, that's how I think of social video is you're having that one-on-one -on -one conversation where they get to try you out. And in fact, I think it's even better because some people don't want to knock on the door. Like talking in the beginning of the show about the church, they saw you on video online and then they came through the church doors, whereas they might be intimidated because they don't know what's behind those doors. So they don't know what's behind your, your shop's doors, but if you show them with a video, it takes that worry or fear out and now they're familiar with your shop. They're familiar with your store. So even if you have an in-person store, the more you do video online, the more you'll drive them to your retail store. It's yep. just fact of nature. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And um, by the way, the more familiar they are with you, and that's including face-to-face, -face, even just seeing you over and over on video, the more they do trust you and want to do business with you. And I, here's the other thing I found, uh, Monty, is people look for ways to support you. They're like, oh my gosh, and I do the same thing. People who have given me value, so you've given me value on your show, so anytime I want to buy a Go V Light or anything on Amazon, I just tune into your show and add it to my shopping cart because mm -hmm. I want to support you. And I find the same thing with a lot of subscribers. They'll, they'll either support us with a subscribe or they'll, they'll support us with, on Amazon Live with putting something from your carousel in there. So that get, helps us keep doing what we do so we can keep helping the masses. So that, yeah. that is so true. Like there are so many ways to support, like you said, like the, clicking the thumbs up button on, on YouTube like, is a big deal. Like it, it's a big yes. deal for creators. Like putting no, a comment no. in any chat when someone live streams, that's a big deal. And I would tell, uh, Raza isn't here tonight, of course, I'm gonna bring her up. I don't know how she found me or whatever, but like she would always show up to my lives because when I went live, I would kind of randomly go live. I didn't have like a schedule and yeah. I knew that. And one thing I started learning about like doing this video live streaming thing is everybody's schedule isn't your schedule. Mm -hmm. So just because you go live doesn't mean that everybody's going to stop what they're doing and just tune in to watch what you got to say. Like people's got lives. They're not, they're not pressed to do that unless they're like a super fan and you kind of let them know, Hey, I'm going to be doing this all the time at this time. And you just show up or you go back and you watch it, you know, the replay stuff. And so mm -hmm. very early on when I had those one, those two people show up, I spent so much of my attention on those one and two people because they were the ones that were there. Versus mm -hmm. like me just talking about what I want to talk about, but like, okay, what is your question, Ross? Since mm -hmm. you're here, what can I help you with today? And so she became like, to this day, I can't get rid of her because I like uh -huh. helped her like, because I constantly, she would show up, I give her answers, mm -hmm. show up and I give her answers. Now it's becoming a little bit more of a challenge because I got to moderate and all this kind of stuff that goes on. But I really do my best to like answer the comments, like respond yes. to all the questions and everything like that. Um, yeah. Because when people show up and they watch like 93 people here on Amazon, how many people over here? Got six people showing like, it's like a hundred people watching. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Damn, yeah. I, can't, I can't imagine like like five years ago I couldn't have like who and yeah and yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah. Like, man. and and in person you know, how many people can you meet at the coffee shop in one day eight yeah. so even if you get only eight people on a platform you're like well that's eight more people than I could meet in a day yeah. and not be completely exhausted because it's one after another after another right yep. so celebrate the, the the small numbers and eventually you attract the bigger numbers. Uh, and and I love what you said too about Roz, how, hey, she was showing up in the early days. So anyone can go either YouTube or Amazon Live and see, especially Amazon Live, you're going to get the attention of some of these big gurus out there because you're showing up. So that's the other, I mean, Honey Bueno came in and then again, I, I see shopping with Cheryl. I haven't seen her in a while and here she is. Right? But the people who show up are going to get our love, our attention, and then get the one-on-one -on -one coaching completely free because they're just here live yeah so that's another thing too just being a viewer subscriber anybody yeah. that's rocked with me for a little while i always say like if you catch me live that's the time to ask me ask questions once yeah. i am off of live and you go in my inbox busy <laughs> <laughs> might be a little slow that's right. uh, yeah yeah all right yeah. let me make sure I, I had your website up there i think that was for tony i think tony thanks for following um let me see here Okay, I think I got all that. Look, I should have put Deb to work tonight. Y'all are active tonight. Gee. Um, 
So I'll make sure Put I me get in your role. It's I what know, I love right? best. And oh by the God. way, I love this conversation, Monty, and yeah, I'm going to kick off the regular interview show on Amazon Live. So I've got to get you booked in. Yeah. We're going to do it Wednesday nights. So hopefully you'll okay. be available. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Collabs, y'all. Collabs. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. Tony was asking for the website. So I had that up there for you. It was social video marketing bootcamp.com. That's where you can find Deb at over there. Um, let's see. Gerald said on Amazon, what software alternatives for streaming to multiple platforms? Um, I know StreamYard does it. Am I right, Deb? StreamYard does it. Yes. Yeah. StreamYard, you can, uh, streamyard.vip is my affiliate link, which will give you two week trial. And then after that, you could still stay for free. And I think you get maybe one stream, you then upgrade for three. And then the next platform is up to 10 platforms. Um, that's the one that I use right okay. now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And now you could do pre-recorded content with stream, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Pre-recorded yeah. is I was, someone had asked me cause their internet was real bad. I was like, just record it and then get to a good internet and run it pre-recorded. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you can yeah, sit we, there and watch it pre-recorded, that. you can sit there and be in the chat and engage in the chat in real time. That's right. And, and that's what, again, for you and I, where we're performing or teaching or whatever, it's hard to pay attention to chat. Whereas if it is pre-recorded, that's the advantage. You can look at every person that participates live and give them either the answers or the attention that they're looking for. Um, and you can answer them in chat where you really can't do that when you're live. I actually had a student say that they're like, oh, how do I pay attention to it all? Uh, hard in the beginning. That's why you get a producer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm at that stage where like uh, I just need somebody just to like highlight the highlight the questions, and I even see people like say, "Hey, put a cue in front of it if it's a question." That way you can just easily see it because there's yes. a, anybody that's seen my behind the scenes. I got a lot going on here, so technically I got to make sure things are working. And then you like, yeah. I got a guest that I'm paying attention to. Like I'm at home, so I'm listening out for the family in case something needs to be uh, responded to. So there's a lot going on um, mm-hmm. when you live stream. Uh, Tony is about to open up a can of worms over here. Tony said, how do you go about going live on Amazon? <laughs> Tony, get in my <laughs> Facebook group. If you're interested, Amazon Live is an awesome platform. Let me put Facebook group in here for people. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Amazon Live Creators. And I hope I spelled that all the way out right. If I didn't, y'all don't hurt me. Uh, but Amazon Live <laughs> Creators, if y'all search for it on, on Facebook, you'll be able to find the group. And you can go live if you qualify. You have to reach their uh, minimum requirements for follower counts on other platforms. But you essentially go live. And what I tell people, just talk about the products you love. Talk about what you have at home and what you know about. People talk about cooking. I talk about tech. People do working out at the, uh, in their home gyms. And you can just talk about it. Um, and if you're already part of the affiliate program with Amazon, you already know how that works. You know, somebody's asking for a recommendation. They click it, you get a little uh, cut of that. And on Amazon Live, it happens just in real time. So you get to talk to people. And I'm big into this brand deal collab things. I've gotten uh, companies send me stuff all the time. Like literally the headphones right there. Oh my gosh, Deb, I got to show you these real quick. <laughs> they are not paying me to say this, but these daggone new headphones, these Ionic 40s from Sure. Oh, shout out Team Sure for sending these over. But I've got a whole Not bunch sure. of stuff. Um, yeah, I love their products. Love sure. But if that's yeah. the mic that I'm using now, the little mini one. I think you have the bigger yes, one. Yes, yes. I'm it in the carousel. Yeah, the MV7. I see, see, me and Deb were talking about the mics before. She's got the Sure mic. Yeah. I'm using the Sure mics tonight. Um, and they found yeah. me on Amazon talking about stuff I like to talk about, like other tech stuff. So if you're, yeah, if you guys, you know, want to kind of collab, I never would have thought. I'll be working with like sure like for me it's one of my top five companies like if you 100 yeah and i'm like yeah i would have never thought that was possible but it showing up on video they saw me doing it yeah if y'all don't get it by the end of this year about video i don't know <laughs> uh, yeah sorta. yeah yeah absolutely one of my favorite brands by the way especially for mics because whether you're doing podcasting where it's audio only or video believe it or not on video microphones are the most important now lights because that also affects things. But having good sound is so important. And you said something in the beginning of this live that you said your newborn baby was crying in the background. We couldn't hear it at all at all because of the shore mic. And that's why I bought this because at first there was really nothing in here. This is just my home office, turned it into the YouTube studio 
know, but it was very echoey. Yeah. And this mic got rid of the echo when there were no furniture, no rug on the floor. Um, and then also same thing, like there was construction outside. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. but this just wipes it out. So one of my favorite mics. Yeah. 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 As, you, as you level up, you begin to like... Cause, cause I, I know sometimes people ask like recommendations, right? And it's like, okay, what's your, what's your budget? And then what else are you, you trying to accomplish with it? Because we try to cheap out on, sometimes on our, on our tech. And, um, when you cheap out, you will get the results of that. But as mm -hmm. you find the pieces of equipment that really make you stand out, like you can, I was watching a YouTube video and the guy's title of the video was something I wanted to watch, but I actually stopped watching the video because the whole room was just echoey and it, like, it was just yeah. hard to listen Hurt. to because I'm so used to listen to other people with quality microphones. Oh. That's the sound yeah. I'm used to hearing. Um, so oh. yeah, check out, um, no. I got the MV7 highlighted in a product here. So that's the one Deb's using right now. Um, check that out. It has the lights on it where you can like adjust the microphone level. I like it because it's USB. So if y'all need it's USB and XLR. So if you guys need something simple, um, no excuses, no reasons, you know, you just plug it in directly mm -hmm. into your computer um, yeah. and you can use it. But yeah, I love those microphones. You, you yeah. said podcasting too, Deb. Do you, you got that roadcaster too. I'm trying to justify that purchase. <laughs> I do. I do. I don't think you need it just yet, Monty. But yes, when you are, um, it's fun. It's more of a fun tool. Um, love, love the roadcaster. Um, and one of the things too about this little shore mic is to me, I have the pro, I think that you're using that. This came out maybe a year ago and I feel like for half the price, by the way, or investment, I feel it's a better mic because it's about the same as far as sound quality. Maybe that's like a tinge better, but if you're a traveler like I am, or if you speak on the road, you can take this with yes. you. It's super small and compact, but like Monty talked about, it's USB as well as the XLR mic. So you can plug it into your laptop and whether you're on Zoom or using StreamYard or YouTube, whatever it is, you can use this same microphone on the run. And again, it's super nice and tight and small. So it's basically the Joe Rogan microphone. But this one is the smaller version. He uses the, the big granddaddy mic. This is the smaller baby version. But I'm telling you, for half the price, it packs the same punch, gives you that good sound quality. Um, and like you mentioned here, the lights up here, if I'm too, uh, coming in too hot, I can lower it. If I'm coming in too soft, I can bump it up. I can also mute myself. So if I have to cough or whatever, uh, you have all of this control right here without having to anything on the thing so can you tell i'm a huge fan of the, the baby sure <laughs> that's I'm, what i've been I'm, calling it the baby sure. let, let them know that you're a huge fan of it because i know i am love I, I love this thing um yeah i yeah. see uh my guy chris stone is here in the chat good to see you chris um and i see you guys like helping each other in the chat too which is cool and one i of love things, i yeah. love ambassadors who help people oh my gosh and like it happens organically and you don't have to ask that is like the most amazing yes. thing is because it, it especially like people that you you trust in there because i don't even i didn't even like look at the responses chris did to the answers or megan because like or rome because like i trust them like, like like they show up i know who they yeah. are um and we jump in each other's feed so it's always awesome to kind of see your you know your communities together um and protecting yes. each other because like when spam comments yes. come through they'll go in and they'll report and block like it's and yeah that comes up with time you know but like it comes it like it does come uh so i want to encourage you guys yes. to like don't get tripped up on people. yeah yeah good, people. good people. you will connect with good people and so yeah um, the amazon live group that you put in here the facebook group if you are not part of that group and you're watching join that it's such a group of supportive people and in the beginning, everyone was just learning all together because it was a new platform. So you have all of these gurus and experts. And we're all just sharing information now. So and and Monty, you've been so generous with all of the tips you're giving. I'm like, man, you could be paid for all those tips that you're giving. You're just giving it away completely free. So if you're not a member yet of the Facebook group, highly, highly, highly encourage you. Yeah, yeah. Especially um, if you're thinking about joining Amazon Live. Hey, Dad, yeah. look, I did this one time. This is a joke, y'all, but I might do a series. I said, when somebody said that you should be paid for, I said, well, how much would you pay me for it? And that's what I charged my, uh, that is what my calendar rate is. 
if somebody mm. wanted to book a one-on-one because I kept hearing it, right? And it was one of those mm. things again, like, okay, I'm not worth this much. Um, so I asked the guy, I said, out of all the people you done paid for, I said, mm. and you know what I've given you, I said, what would you pay? What should I charge? Yeah. And he told me the number. That is what I charge when someone goes now to book an hourly rate and they say, oh, that costs too much. Mm -mm. I am so confident in that number because the, yeah. that, the guy that I asked, oh, I, I know what I've done for him. And so I'm right. like, that is the number. And so yes. like, if anybody says no, cool, okay, cool. I'm not the guy. I can't yeah. help you. I can't help you. Yeah. I can help you with some free yeah. videos that right. I've done, but I can't help you yeah. with the other ones. Um, yeah. I see, oh, I got everybody up in here. My other Chris is up in mm -hmm. here. Jim is in here. Y'all all showing up. Y'all showing love. Um, Jim said, oh, Deb, this is for you because I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Are you going to social media marketing world this year? Um, I live right here in San Diego, so I will definitely be there. <laughs> I'll be around, let's just say. I'll be at the bars. I'll be at the restaurants. I'll be in town. Um, and we may have a little social gathering. So, yes. So hit me up. When you're coming to town yeah cool. yeah geraldine is here too says monty you are having fun tonight i am i am can't y'all tell mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm telling you, when, when, <laughs> I, when i can talk the same the same language as somebody because what's funny like me and deb met on an audio app like just in the same room just having a conversation and she geeked out on amazon live and i was like she said can you show this in my community and I was like geeking out on her community I was like oh not a lot of people just like invite me just to come speak to their community that there's some stuff y'all that is just a big deal that don't I don't take lightly like you you don't give access to your community to a stranger like we did not have conversations come like it was audio only conversation like i don't have instagram like you can't well i have instagram but you can't go get social proof off my instagram like they ain't it like my social proof don't qualify me for like amazon mm -hmm. live like, it's like you could look and be like mm, i don't know if he knows but like the youtube videos of like eight videos in a row that qualified me to mm -hmm. say okay he has to know what he's talking about i'm not i'm not teaching tonight Deb. well <laughs> i'm over here amen uh by the way, Monty went three hours, three hours on that and just poured in about Amazon Live. So I appreciate you. I feel like you were BFs, at, BFs for, for life. And yeah, we're we're speaking the same language because we're both interested in the same thing. And you're a trendsetter. You're a trend spotter, right? It's I, I, Actually, it's a better word for it. I don't, I've never set a trend. I can just spot it, predict it, and then tell my clients, like, mm -hmm. get on this, get the edge, get there before everyone figures it out. Mm -hmm. You will have a tremendous advantage. Like John Lee Dumas actually quoted that with Clubhouse, it's like on the back of the book. And it's the same thing with Amazon Live. If I had a book there, it's like, this is where you get the edge. It's that first mover's advantage. You get on the app before everyone else has figured it out. You will get all the traffic. You'll get all the views. You'll get all the clients you'll get the sponsor deals because you're there first you're showing up so yeah and again i saw what amazon or, or what monty was talking about on amazon in the facebook group and you just pour freely from your heart and your knowledge and yeah expert your, your expertise on the subject was just incredible and again it was i was so excited when i met you on clubhouse because it was like oh my gosh this is a great app and again he's just sharing it for free you could be just sharing it with clients that are paying you because again, that's who gets the privileged information, right? People yep. who are paying you top dollar and you were just giving it away for free. And that is a huge tip for those of you going live on an app or doing pre-recorded video on YouTube or Amazon live, give the valuable stuff away for free because there's still plenty of stuff that they will pay for you. Right. But it's, it's like they get to sample what your knowledge base is. So don't feel like you should hold stuff back. Just yeah. give it away for free, just like Monty does. And you'll find, You'll still get the blessings from other people in different ways, or you'll get the blessings from sponsors because they go, oh, you've got the eyeballs. You're giving this away for free. We want to help support you with this channel. You want to keep talking about short products? Sure. Here you go. Right. Or they'll give you products to give away for viewers and do contests and things like that. So yeah, yeah give it away for free. You'll get 
blessed somehow either directly with clients or on the back end. Yep, yeah, that is how, breathing, breathing that's that how that my one. YouTube channel grew. Like Deb, like I literally was like, here, this is how you do it. Like A, B, C, yeah. D, E, F, G. Like this is how you do it. And yeah. like, it just went because that, because a lot of people, they're scared to give away like, like, yeah, if you're trying to grow an audience, my advice to people is like, give away your best stuff. It, it allows yeah. you to prove yourself because then you can get the testimonials because there's right. going to be something new. There's going to be something that changes. It don't matter what industry you're in. It, everything keeps changing. Everything keeps evolving. Mm -hmm. So you got to learn the next thing of it, the next thing of it. But yeah. if you give yourself the stuff away for free. Like if you build that credibility with, okay, mm -hmm. now they know, like I can go charge for Amazon live course. Like, yeah, like with a drop of a dime, like, hey, you don't have to pay for this. Well, actually, I do charge blueprintinfluencers.com. That's where like I'm building a community of people that just want to focus like on brand deals across a, mm. being a content creator. How do you monetize your content? So yeah. I have a free community where we focus on Amazon mm -hmm. Live, but it's a paid community where it's like more access. So like y'all yes. y'all are hearing me tell Deb like, yo, let's let's do something with sure. Like I, I need because you love sure microphones. I got to connect. The connect mm -hmm. is over here. Like the mm -hmm. connect could be in the free group, but it's like, no, the connect is going to be over here. Now me and Deb yeah. are cool. So y'all, y'all <laughs> circle thing going on over here too. Yeah. Um, but yeah. What was the name of that website? Cause people should definitely check that out because connection to sponsors is so like that will literally be paid for instantly within the first sponsor. I just want to drop it in uh, YouTube. Uh, what yeah. was it? You said blueprint Blue, what? Blueprintinfluencers.com. Blueprintinfluencers.com. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, and especially if you're in the tech space, oh, yeah, it'll pay for itself. Like, so quick. I got so much yeah. gear. It's ridiculous. I was talking to one of my YouTube um, subscribers, and he does live streaming events, too. And he he responded to one of my comments on, on the video. And he's like, man, I've been getting some offers. I said, really explore that because the content creator community is going to grow because these companies need video who's going to create mm -hmm. the videos we are like mm -hmm. we're creating it we're already talking about hey i love this crock pot i love this air fryer i love this piece of gym equipment like we're already talking about this stuff all the time yeah now we're just talking by the about way it. air fryers all the rage yeah just yeah. saying everybody's using them but what? yeah Go pay for it get a free one talk about it some yeah. more you already talk you already <laughs> talking about it. just getting one so all right yeah uh, see then you don't have to go to chipotle as much just get the air fryer going I, nothing <laughs> will stop my chipotle chipotle is this next video um uh y'all are funny over here uh chris mm -hmm. said he searched me on amazon and i popped up yeah that's what i'm talking about so if you search my name on amazon i pop up now that's pretty cool um, i love it hey chris geraldine for you deb she said deb who is your audience Mm. primarily business owners, or I should say the small business owner, the mom and pop that wants to get their brand or business out there, but doesn't have this huge corporate budget where they're spending a hundred thousand in advertising. Uh, and they want to know how to get organic uh, listing on uh, social media. Yeah. I would say the small business owner. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let me, let me get to the end. We're going to have to have dead back again over here. Y'all. I, mm -hmm. I know. Um, let's see. Yeah, and as I kick off the next, uh, for Amazon Live, I'm going to start doing weekly shows and be consistent. Um, I've got someone booked on the first one. I should have had you because then you could work out <laughs> the kink. But we're going to have to line you up before uh, we get everyone on there. It's going to be a lot of author interviews and then people that are in tech. So the gadgets and things like that, okay. which you are the qualified guest for that. Yes. Yeah, I, ha I have to say I'm, I'm nervous to bring in my first guest. I will tell you that. So. Oh, yeah. The yeah. nervous, the nerves, the nerves. <laughs> hey, we get Have nervous too, y'all. Like, we get nervous too. Like, yeah, because you think sometimes I'll go through and I'm like, man, what do I talk about? How will the show go? Can I stretch this to make it an hour? Like, there's so many things that mm -hmm. go through our heads too. Because, like, you know, it, it's, I ain't signed up to be a live streamer. It's just one of those <laughs> tools that I know is very effective. If I show up and go live. I didn't know like a hundred plus people watching all you guys would show up. Like I had no idea who was going to show up. As far as I was concerned, it was just going to be me and Deb. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey Deb, we just going to have a conversation. It's like, we'll see and we, where this yeah. goes. Um, and we would have been fine with that. And we been fine, <laughs> yeah. Cause we would have been having, talking about, you know, what's going on. What are you doing? What are you up to? What do you use? Like we would have yeah. worked it out. Right. Um, yeah. Deb, 
I always ask people as we kind of wrap up. So we talk through mm-hmm. equipment, like, and all that kind of stuff. I think I got everybody's questions. If I didn't just send me an email or something like that, or just post it, y'all can find Deb online. If you're on YouTube, all her links are posted and all that stuff, website and all that good stuff. Um, I always ask people like, what are they, what do they envision for 2022? Like what guidance can you help give people as we go into 2022 as it pertains to video are you seeing anything are you paying attention to anything maybe there's just like words of wisdom for people to like embrace video um did you have anything that you're kind of like really able to share with the audience as we kind of wrap up here um because i i really want everybody to get on video in some form or fashion agree agree i could talk all about it definitely if you're watching on youtube go check out amazon live if you do video on youtube go apply for the amazon live influencer program it's it's why i love connecting with monty about a year ago on clubhouse because that's what he was talking about he introduced me to it and i'm like oh yes it's a new platform and i'm hearing about it before other people it's still a very new platform. You still do have to apply so that it's screening. Not everyone gets in it. So the, the sooner you apply, the sooner you get accepted. And then the sooner you go live and work out the kinks. Like I was just saying, I'm going to do a live show with interviews and authors. Up till now, it's only been me on Amazon Live. So I'm a little bit nervous about it. But at the same time, there aren't millions watching right now. So I get to work out all the kinks while only a few are watching, right? So I can embarrass myself in front of dozens and then work out the kinks just like you can on that new platform. And then the other thing too is uh, just have that conversation with people, right? When you, whether you're doing pre-recorded video or you're doing these lives, just think it's a conversation and that takes all the butterflies and all the nerves out of it. And yes, you might be nervous right in the beginning. Know that we as pros, I've been doing this almost 20 years now. I've had a TV show. I still get nervous. But the more you do it, the better you'll get. Uh, when we did have live events, I was speaking at an event in Vegas and someone was like, oh, but what if we miss up? And what if this, right? All the reasons people come up with to not go live. And I said something that got the laughs, but it's because it was completely true. And it was a little bit of, ah, oh, but I'll, I'll tell you the same thing. If you mess up, guess what? Nobody cares because nobody's watching. You just started. So make the mistakes in the beginning, right? Your first video is going to be your worst video. So do it now. Get all of that out of the way. And then you kick it up a notch like Monty and what you're seeing with his studio, with his roving microphone and, and camera and everything that he's doing now. He didn't do on his first show. I didn't do on my first show. I had a lapel mic that was like, a wired thing and it had some echo. It was horrible, but you could delete horrible videos as you get better. I've left a lot of videos that are embarrassing from my first YouTube channel because I want people to see like, that's how I started. And by the way, it was only a flip camera back in the day. Now we have you, by the way, that's the other thing. You have all the tech that you need if you have this. To go Amazon Live, it's an app. You go on your phone. It's the easiest platform to start with. So Amazon Live, Amazon Live, Amazon Live. Join Monty's Facebook group. You'll get more than enough free information to get you started. And then go kick it up a notch if you want sponsors and get paid and get his blueprint. It's blueprintinfluencers.com. Definitely check that out. So, yeah, thanks for having me here, Monty. This has been fun. Thanks for being here, Deb. I'm definitely going to have you back um, because... One, it's just an awesome conversation because I just want you back. And two, I know how much value you bring. Um, And I love people that talk the same language, but you also have different perspectives. Like, um, you know, people people look at the world like you don't know everything. And so, like, trust me, y'all, like when Deb said three minutes and 33 seconds, something like in my brain just triggered. So if you see a five minute video, you're like, how do you go from these 20 minute videos to these five minute videos? Cause I'm working on something like I, I, I need to maximize what I'm doing with the videos and time and all that good stuff. So yeah. appreciate you for being here, Deb. Awesome to see the pillows you got behind you. Cause everybody always asks about them pillows. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you can... That I got from one of your Amazon lives, by the way, yeah, the, the one at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. That looks familiar. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, so you guys make sure that you check out Deb um, on all her platforms. If you're on YouTube, check the description. Got the links there. If you're on Amazon Live, make sure you go to socialvideomarketingbootcamp.com. Socialvideomarketingbootcamp.com. Social mark social video marketing bootcamp .com. see rep repetition is a good thing i learned yeah that, that was pretty else. good you yeah. practice it <laughs> yeah so practice Love it. practice so make sure you guys go check Love her it. out thank you guys for being here make sure you join me every monday 7 p.m eastern standard time go live um and we have awesome guests awesome conversations and you guys can um always give me the feedback let me know is this worth your time for being here for an hour in this case an hour and a half maybe we need to do a two-hour show i don't know but y'all let me know in the comment section appreciate you all for being here enjoy the rest of your evening and i'll see you next time bye